know what all the buzz about in high stakes poker right now? Do you know what people are talking about in Vegas or in Texas, even in California or Florida as we speak? Oh, it's not that sweet straight flush and winning big pots. No, it's the crypto crash. Janet Yellen was talking about immediate regulation of stable coins because they broke. Stable coins broke away from being pegged to the dollar as low as 70 cents to the dollar. Not good. Privacy coins were brought up like Monero and with Bitcoin being half of what it's trading for last year, it's all time high. A lot of people are abandoning shit, but the poker community and the crypto community is kind of tight knit because when you're, when you're scooping big pots, you need some place to put the cash, right? Well, crypto has been a popular haven and NFTs, but a lot of things are changing with regulations and people looking at diversifying because privacy coins and the value like Monero, which the reason Monero is not taking as big of a hit percentage wise as some of the other cryptos is basically because Monero is one of the few cryptos that is actually being used. That's why I recommend it so much. The reason I recommend Monero is because it's a use case coin. At Privacy X or at other businesses, Monero is a use case coin where a lot of these coins are basically Ponzi schemes. You buy and you hold and you buy and you hold and you take the dip and you hold and you buy and you hold with these dreams of it going to a billion, zillion, trillion and everyone gets rich. I saw a statistic yesterday that almost every institution that's in Bitcoin currently is upside down and over 46% of people currently in Bitcoin alone, I'm not even talking about all the other coins, are upside down right now. You do realize for you to make a bunch of money, other people potentially have to lose it. The money has to come from somewhere, right? Well, today in Operation The Future of Crypto, we're going to break down some very important things. Let's get it. So I've talked about Monero a lot on this channel and talked about why I think it's a good coin to use. Most of these coins sell the dream and eventually Web3 will be here. Eventually DeFi will solidify. Eventually the markets will change. It will no longer be the wild, wild west. Putting your crypto in a safe, secure place now more than ever is vital. I'm getting an onslaught of emails, literally so many emails. The first time in Privacy X's history that I've got so many emails that I didn't put out videos the last couple days just due to email. I'm actually at the point where I'm gonna have to hire somebody to help manage my email because I get so many people asking me all these questions. It is just insane. It is absolutely insane with the fear there is in the market. The fear index broke off. Now, will crypto come back? Yeah, the people buying right now, buying in the dip, they're gonna, it's gonna pay off massive. Obviously, that goes without saying, I'm personally buying a lot right now. I'm a big spender right now in a dip like this, because yes, it's gonna come back. And even if it goes a little lower, it doesn't matter. It's gonna go supersonic soon. We've had these dips the last three years. We've had way worse ones in 2017 and 2020. Of course, that goes without saying. 2020, the needle broke off and then shot to the moon. Everyone talks about the moon shot and the little moon boys out there on social media. But a lot of people don't talk about how hard it fell in the beginning, right? And if you look at where crypto, the lows of each year, it was actually surprisingly low. In fact, the last two years, the lows of Bitcoin were actually lower than they are today. So a lot of people tend to forget that. And every time something goes down a little, it's doomsday. It's the end of the world. Well, there are some things you can be doing right now. A lot of people were asking me, where is the safety in the market? There really isn't any safety as far as not losing money. What you need to be doing is cost averaging, in my opinion. Uh, this ain't financial advice. You do whatever you want to do. But cost averaging right now is going gonna, is gonna to really pay off big on the upside, in my opinion. Now, as far as the stock market, the stock market is going to bust. The stock market is going to blow out the back because do you know who the largest investor in the U.S. stock market is right now? The U.S. government. That should not be a thing. That should absolutely not be a thing. And when the U.S. government's problem with the stock market, I mean, the Dow was trading at like, what, 31? Okay. It should be at like 24, 22, if it wasn't for what the U.S. government's doing right now. 
we are heading into recession make no mistake the us is heading into recession and that is actually a good thing and being able to control your assets i've talked to about six or eight clients in germany the last couple days the german government is getting ready to seize assets from its citizens that's how dire the situation is the united states is talking about another covid breakdown coincidentally through the midterms in october november mark my words and mark this video and come back and watch when we go into another miraculous lockdown in the next couple of months it's gonna happen and watch when they do asset forfeitures in places like germany or the uk or france definitely in canada they're gonna they're gonna seize a ton have you looked at the canadian books they're gonna seize a mountain of assets if you're a canadian citizen or australian citizen or german citizen now germany's more out in the open than probably any other country right now but if you're in any of these any of these countries your assets are going to be taken from you very soon by your government which is absolutely insane by by the way absolutely insane but that's getting ready what's going to happen in those countries and i'm getting a ton of clients in those countries because we're able to help them completely avoid that situation if you want to check out the ghost program and come ghost before this happens in the us and all the other countries you can check out the first link down below but frankly we are we are growing at rapid succession because of this totalitarian laws that are being pumped down our throats on a regular basis now where do i think monero goes from here well I think Monero is going to is going to stabilize. I think Monero is going to be the quote unquote second it's going to break off and be the currency of the internet people. The people who make money online, the people who build businesses online, the people who have a portion of their life online, Monero is going to be the go-to because the government cannot control it in any fashion. They can try to outlaw it, which they're going to do, but the problem is it's going to set them back and no one wants to be that one because it's going to set you back drastically. You've seen that El Salvador bought the dip, right? They just bought another what 15 15 20 million in bitcoin that's going to pay off good for el salvador big picture and bitcoin having the target on its back is vital that actually helps people like you and me for the real coin of the internet which is monero it's not you know bitcoin has value but it's ultimately monero we've seen the ethereum network just blow out the sides multiple times we see what happened when the metaverse for the board ape yacht club and when they launched or actually there was a couple metaverses that launched and it basically blew out ethereum there was a time where it was more than one eth for gas fees that's not even realistic gas fees need to be almost nothing and it was literally there was a time at its peak that it was more than one eth for a gas fee so uh, that doesn't even make sense that literally does not make sense and it showed the vulnerabilities and what the governments are doing is using these vulnerabilities to say, see, the crypto market sucks. That's why Janet Yellen already had her speeches ready and already had everything ready because she knew as soon as the crash came, they were gonna call the crypto market fraud, which is what the US is doing as we speak. They're calling the crypto market nothing but fraud. You need them, you need their protection. Let the US give you a big warm hug like Olaf and they'll make a nice digital dollar that they control, they have full access to. You know, have you ever watched a cop show? Have you ever watched cop show? Let me, let me ask you this. Have you ever watched any cop show? I'm not a big TV guy myself, but any cop show. Now, when they have a suspect, not even a criminal, not even somebody who's been tried by a court of their peers, but when they just have a suspect, what do they do? Oh, we, we contacted his job, probably got him fired. We froze his bank accounts. We went after everyone he knows. We made suspect lists of everyone he knows. We added them to our suspect list. We're going to dig into their life. We talked to his credit. You haven't even done anything. You're just, they think you may have done something and they will literally wreck your life. So if they can do that when they think you've done something, what level of control do these quote governments have? Well, God mode control and a lot of people in their little lives their daily lives forget this on a regular basis I mean they could pull records that are sealed they could enter your I mean oh you got to get a warrant no they don't oh I thought I heard something oh I thought I heard somebody say help and they just burst it I mean it happens all the time in fact I've known a couple clients that this has happened to where they suspected them of illegal activity and this is in the U.S. Forget other countries, you have zero rights if you're outside the US. US, at least we have a couple rights. We have the constitution and a couple things. Somebody could say, 
help. It could be on the radio, or it could not happen in a cop bus. I thought somebody was in dire. Sh they could, and then while we're already here, let's look around. And then if we see anything, that's a crime. And if we think we see anything, we're gonna seize it. Also, if we suspect you of a crime, we'll seize everything you have because we think you may or may not have done a crime. I mean, it's it's preposterous. And you realize that the only reason they can do 100% of this is we've given them control of our monetary system. There's no reason for the government to have any involvement in the monetary system. None. Zero. There is zero reason for the government to have any involvement in the monetary system. Tell me a reason. Tell me a reason. Why? I get snarky comments on my videos all day, every day. I get people that are trying to be witty. I get people that a lot of negativity my way. And that's fine. That's what I get for putting these videos out. But... Tell me a reason why you want somebody controlling your monetary system. Now, we could go back to trading pieces of silver or pieces of gold, right? We could do that. I can get my little my little purse here. And, uh, well, this side has gaffed playing cards. Hold on a second. Pause. Pause. Well, don't pause. But you, we can go back to trip. This is a double whammy. This looks like a Bitcoin, right? It's a Bitcoin. Woo. But it's actually two and a half ounces of poured silver right? Jaeger poured silver, right? So two and a half, we can go back to trading pieces of silver like this for goods and services, or we can have our own monetary system through digital currencies, but we have that and it's working out substantially better. But all the issues we're running into right now is through to government involvement. Now they're trying to attack coins like Monero because they want God mode access. They want to give you a digital currency. We've seen what's happened in other countries. The governments in other countries that are releasing digital currencies are actually issuing their citizens digital wallets. Is that what you want? That's 10 times worse than paper money or coins. Because then at any time they could monitor everything you could do, they could track you. And if you put that wallet on a device, they can track the device. That's basically, that's basically like I mean, that takes 1984 George Orwell to a whole nother level. That's insane. And that's where we're going. And that's why Monero is so important. But here's the thing as a community, one thing that people need to do is back a couple projects. The, the, the best thing that could happen in the crypto space is about 50% of these projects go away. And the crypto community needs to quit focusing on pump and dumps that is ultimately going to lead to fraud anyway. If you want to regulate something, regulate the pump and dump moon boys and their fraud. But the fact is, if the crypto community does not focus on one coin, being Monero, for example, the only currency, in fact, coin that I'm focused on is Monero, currency-wise. Software-wise, Ethereum, if two ever launches, that would be great. There's other projects that are competing with Ethereum. Now, I'm not anti-competition. As an entrepreneur, I'm all about competition. But I'm talking about as a currency. See, crypto is crypto is crypto, but it's not. There's a whole bunch of sub-industries. There's industries focused on gaming and NFTs. There's industries focusing on Web3. There's industries focusing on DeFi. So we need to break these apart and focus on a couple core ones. And for currency and for exchange, something like Monero has a lot of value because it has the properties of a real privacy coin. Just because you use Monero doesn't mean you're breaking the law. Uh, I use Monero and I don't break the law and I pay my taxes and I do all the things right. And a lot of you probably do, do as well. And if you don't, that's on you, not on other people. And we don't need the government saying, well, because of potential money, where, where? That's your problem. That's a you problem. We can't make your problem everyone else's problem. And this is the problem in the crypto market right now today. And Monero is under a full scale attack. The government wants to get rid of Monero and usher in the Fed coin. In fact, there's been more research done on Monero than probably any other currency with the exception of Bitcoin, obviously. But Bitcoin's technology and where Bitcoin is, and you look at the Lightning Network, it's not, I mean, and also you look at the pathetic fight over Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and all the different forks. It's not, and then you've got people like this uh, Craig Wright goofus who pretends to be Satoshi and he's not even close. He doesn't have the right temperament. Yes, he's a smart guy, but uh, everything he talks about is the antithesis and the complete opposite of what uh, everything that was put out back in the original white paper of Bitcoin. So the whole thing is a disaster as we speak. And the crypto community coming out and standing behind crypto, the problem I'm seeing is nobody wants to stand behind crypto. 
Everyone wants to be in the shadows. The problem is, you know, if everyone's in the shadows, who's going to be fighting? <laughs> if everyone says the other guy will do it, who's going to be fighting? That's part of the reason I come out and make my videos. And I have a tiny voice and I appreciate for those of you who do share my videos. It means a lot because it helps. It helps spread the message. And the fact of the matter is, if we don't do something quick, we're going to end up with the Fed coin in a digital dollar. And you do not want that. That will end freedom and privacy for the world. The only, you, you know where it goes from there. I'm not even going to say it, but you know where it goes from there. And it's not good. It, we cannot have digital money that is controlled by the government. There's literally nothing worse. There's nothing worse. That makes slavery and uh, life in prison almost look appealing for a lot of people. I don't think most of you fully comprehend how bad it will be and the amount of laws that you will lose, the amount of rights that you will lose, the amount of freedoms that you will lose if they have that level of control on you. I don't think most of you can even remotely comprehend it. Privacy is a right and it's a right that needs to be protected. And if people don't start standing up, you will lose your right to privacy. And Monero is a very important project that needs to be protected, in my opinion. Now, you do whatever you want to do. But we've got to quit with these pump and dumps, with these, I see so many coins in the privacy space that add value. And I think that's cool and we should back them. But the problem right now is the confusion in the market. The market's tiny. We're less than 1.5 trillion now. That is, gold alone is, is 12 trillion, okay? 12 trillion. That's just gold. That's just pieces of gold. The crypto market's a baby. And if we're not careful, it will dissipate even further and then it won't matter. It'll be some slot. It's already a small fringe thing. The crypto market should be 20, 25 trillion dollars right now if it was done properly. But because of the intervention, it's falling apart around us and we've got to take action. So Monero and these other coins that already have proven themselves, the value is obvious. The value is obvious. A lot of people are asking me, what are the best markets to get in right now? L producing land, land that actually produces something, whether it produces rent, produces food, produces anything, land that produces. Gold and silver, precious metals are going to hedge. They're not going to moon, but they're going to hedge. And then crypto. The stock market's a bust. The bond market's a joke. Uh, you know, I mean, investing in the stock market at this point and investing in standard homes and regular real estate is, is a disaster. If you buy a home now, it's going to be worth 50% this time next year. Uh, probably sooner than that. But realistically, the, I mean, the bubble's on the fringe. We've seen what the markets are doing. So I want to talk about that because I get a lot of questions on that. And today's video obviously was just more uh, a little bit all over the place. But these are questions I get a lot. And uh, frankly, I think that the fight for Monero needs to be put together and more people need to stand up for the value of this coin. You know, and even, even on the tax side, it's not really that big of a deal showing transactions and paying taxes on your money. I'm not pro Monero, Monero to be anti-tax. Um, now, do I agree with the tax system? No, and I've, I've talked about that in videos, but that's a whole separate topic. That really doesn't matter because what matters now is not letting the government control the monetary system because if they control the monetary system they literally control everything and you need to understand that so pretty day guys check out this video have an amazing day if you haven't already make sure you subscribe put out new videos all the time privacy is right and it's right needs to be protected and if you don't protect it i don't protect it. you bet the big governments and the corporations will not protect it they want to end your right to privacy because that gives them the power if they own the money, they can say no when you go to purchase something. You go to purchase a gun in the United States. Nah, we have a constitution. Who cares? Who cares? You go to purchase a medicine. Nah, we don't think you need it. You go to purchase your favorite food. Nah, we don't think you need it. Also, we're tracking everywhere you go, everything you do. Also, what have you been saying about us? What have you been doing on social media? This is the social credit score, guys. Do you realize that the final piece of the puzzle for the social credit score is controlling the money. And a digital currency does just that. Have an amazing day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.